No question, the black-footed ferret recovery is an epic conservation success story. The ferret was thought twice to be extinct. All the ferrets out in the wild today came from 18 animals. They're captive ferrets that we're going to release out here and hopefully they will survive and have enough prairie dogs to eat and eventually establish a self-sustaining population. Plague is a major impediment to the recovery of the black-footed ferret. So they can get plague if they eat an infected prairie dog. So we've developed an oral vaccine for prairie dogs um, that will protect them against plague. Um, and we've done lots of trials in a laboratory setting and now we're testing in the field to make sure the animals will ingest the bait and be protected fr from plague uh, in a natural setting. The Babbitt ranchers have been partners in conservation. Today the black-footed ferret was released on the SP Ranch, which is one of three ranches that Babbitt Ranches maintains. You know, their values definitely drive them towards conservation. For us to participate in things like uh, the release of black-footed ferret or sylvatic plague vaccine, you know, uh, tests on the prairie dogs, you know, those fit in perfectly with what uh, our decision models are, uh, what, the, what our values are, uh, and uh, that sense of responsibility and obligation to the land. The Black-Footed Ferret Recovery Program has a strong foundation because it has so many partners that bring different things to the, to the task. You know, for Babbitt Ranches, what is really special about this deal for everybody is, is the relationships between all these people. I mean, I know we're talking about the black-footed ferret, I know we're talking about the prairie dogs, but it's about the people, and it's about the relationships that have been built over a very, very long period of time, uh, and, you know, ultimately feeling successful about various projects that we all join in.